Hello everyone. Welcome to the 44th tutorial in the series of Complete Guide to React.js. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a pure components in React.js. So let me give you an overview like um, a specific component in React.js can be created. That means when I say specific component, that means class components can be created by extending a component class and this particular component class is present in the react.js package and that is also another way of creating a class components can be done that is by extending a pure components so i am going to show you like how i am going to create a pure components in the later upcoming tutorial that is the 45th tutorial i am going to explain what is the difference between the pure components and the class components and i am also going to explain you in practical as well as this chart saying that what are the exact differences in it so in this tutorial i'm just going to show you like how to create a pure components which is going to be very pretty much small so let me get into the visio code and over here i'm going to create a new folder and call tutorial 44 I have just tried it something new over here and uh, hence i have created the folder over there earlier so i've deleted it creating creating a new folder tutorial 44 and inside this i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it as shape.js and inside this i'm going to give rcc the code snippet to generate the class component and uh, inside that i am going to mention shape uh, shape component let me give it like this and save it and inside this i am going to create two more files one is going to be a circle component which is going to be a pure components and another component is there which is the one rectangle i am going to create and i am going to mention like this and over here i am going to mention import circle from dot slash circle like that and then import rectangle from double quotes dot slash rectangle so do not wonder like uh, where is this is i'm just going to create it uh, so i'm just writing it before ended so i'm going to mention rectangle dot js and uh, another file as circle.js so in rectangle uh, rectangle.js would be a uh, would be a regular uh, component so for that what i am going to do is write the code snippet rcc and over here i am going to mention rectangle save it and in circle what i am going to do is code snippet rcc which is generating a class component and over here instead of the components i am going to mention pure component so that is the only thing that i am going to do so you can remove this particular component over here and i am also going to mention circle over here save it and uh, in shape.js um, circle is a component rectangle is a component and uh, let me verify whether i got it from a right place because it is throwing me an error dot slash right circle so it looks perfect in app.js i am going to import shape from tutorial 44 whichever we have created to year 44 shape and i am also going to mention the shape over here so it gives me an exception saying that tutorial 44 is not exist what is this everything looks good shape.js and over here i have also exported as shape saving it again wow 
perfect so i have not clicked on save from the app.js and that is why it is creating a problem so let me get into the browser okay perfect so first parent component is there and then later circle component which is a pure component and rectangle uh, component which is a regular component it is all three components are there so we have created a pure components with the help of this tutorial so in next tutorial i'm going to explain you like what is the difference between the pure components and the regular components in this i just want to explain you guys like what is a how we are going to create a pure component over here with the help of the pure component object we are going to create a we have created a pure component and what is the difference between the pure component and a regular component those things we are going to see in the next tutorial thanks and have a nice day